Let's talk about how tires can tell the truth about your RV's health. As inspectors, this is one of the many important items that we are checking, and it's something you as an owner need to be doing regularly, not just at the time of inspection. Welcome to another Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. First, let's talk about the date code. If you did not realize this, but every single tire has a manufacture date here on the sidewall. It might be on the outside, it might be on the inside. Typically, it's on one side, and it's a four-digit code. Let's say this one had a four-digit DOT date code of 2419. That means that this tire was manufactured the 24th week of 2019. The NTSB and some tire manufacturers tell us that even if the tread looks great and the sidewall looks great, they recommend that tires be replaced at the six year mark. So as inspectors, that's when we're going to start to call these things. So at the get go, I wanna make sure that I know the dates of these tires. And also I'm gonna to check to make sure that those dates match. So maybe these tires were replaced at different times. That's something you could check too. Another thing we look at as inspectors is the sidewall condition. This is something an RV owner needs to do on every single trip. UV, weather, sun, they really can uh, do a number on the rubber on these sidewalls. So I'm gonna be looking for things like feathering and cracking, little spider web cracks here. That's letting me know that this might be drying out and the tire itself might be breaking down. Any of these factors could contribute to a blowout. So it's important to check that often. One more important item I'm looking at is the tread. It's not just about the depth here. I'm looking for signs of maybe some uneven wear here. If it's um, more worn on the exterior than it is in the center of the tire or vice versa, I'm gonna look at that all the way around on all the tires of this RV. That might indicate things like an alignment issue, a suspension issue, maybe they're overloading uh, the RV, but I'm definitely gonna pay attention to that. All of these, again, could be contributing factors to a possible blowout. So I'm going to be checking that frequently as well. And a reminder that your tire has two sides. So I definitely want you to be looking at the backside of those tires. It's really easy to overlook that. I've seen damage to the backside of tires when I've done inspections like bulges and things you just would not think that you would see unless you're down on your back crawling underneath there to take a look. So make that a frequent observation as well. A frequent question that we get is what is the proper inflation pressure for my RV tires? And this is multi-layered. We are looking at what the RV manufacturer recommends and also the size of the tire, what the weight is of the RV. So truly the best way to determine that is to uh, have the RV weighed and then consult a load inflation chart for this manufacturer of tire. So if you need help, one of our Texan inspectors could help you there as well. So the bottom line, your tires do not lie. They can tell you the age, the condition, and even reveal hidden problems about your RV. So check them carefully because this could save you tons of money and keep you safe on the road. There's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're at the end of the video, roll the bloopers. Let's talk about why not only people get hmm, another frequent qu tool. <laughs> what is the uh, all right. And one more important item I'm looking. I know that's probably a. I get frequent questions about what. Another common question that we get is what type of. Why is the Q getting me today? Okay.